All right, this is part two of this uh, particular repair. This is on a, a great big monster unit. It's called a Pell 628. Great big monster unit. Uh, all kinds of parts and stuff in here. <laughs> what we found out so far, uh, we've got a bad uh, capacitor in it. So that's what we found out in the first video. Not a lot of parts available for this, but we're going to give it an old give it an old try and see what we can do to see if we can get it going or not. I'm gonna I gotta get these um gotta get these wires soldered back together. And then we got a third capacitor or fourth capacitor we got a wire into it. So we're gonna heat up these wires and Hopefully. One wire. Kind of a thicker gauge wire, so it's taking a little while to heat up to get the solder to flow to it. I don't like that one. That's pretty good. All right. to add some wire on this one and get the bridge across. And the capacitor didn't make anything at all, so we're gonna let's see. 
This crash is physically bigger than the other two. Oh man, we're gonna use the which one we're gonna use. Let's see which one fits a little bit better. Pretty good. Like this big old thing. I think we'll use that one. That one's alright. Bring this back up here. Leave this one here. And what we're going to do is we're going to, since we don't have any wires on this capacitor here, nothing's been soldered on or plugged on, we're going to use um, spade connectors and we're going to plug spade wire, you know, connectors on there. That's what we're going to do on that one. And then we're going to um, We'll make the wire kind of long, but we get plenty of room to work with. Don't know if this is going to fix it or not, but at least if it doesn't fix, I can at least unplug these wires and pull this capacitor out and just make a phone call to the guy and. I don't know what, what, how far does he want me, want me to dig into this thing. solder to these two wires up here. This takes a while because that wire's so thick and it's got to heat up pretty good for the solder to stick to it. You talking about? Let's screw things back together somewhat in case this thing goes to work. And I don't have to take a bunch of stuff off of it again. So we're going to screw these down.
course, non-magnetic screws. this Go in the way it's supposed to, however, that is. Hmm. All right, need a couple of screws to hold this board down. Guess that's them. because it was kind of small. Ah, hell with it. We'll, we'll find some screws for it in a minute. Let's, um... Put this back front cover on here real quick. In case something doesn't go right. I don't want things flying, you know, sparking up, hitting me in the face or something stupid. in 220 volt unit so I gotta have my power supply to convert to 110 to 220 it's touching all right here we go Look at her go. I'm going to put my fence tester across the, can't really see it because I don't have enough room on my table. Actually, I can't see it. Nope, still can't see it. Let's see. Fence to ground. Six point three KV, six point one. So all was wrong with this one was a uh, bad capacitor. I'm going to stop this video and put the thing back together because uh, this thing's kind of taking up about 80% of my workbench right now. This thing's huge. Um, but anyways, if hopefully you like this kind of stuff, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel. If you've got old fence box and you've worked on, 
um, hit us up. Uh, we, we work on all brands, all ages. Well, all was wrong with this thing was a capacitor. So pretty cheap fix for a, who knows how much this thing costs new or one like it, probably a thousand dollars or more for a new one. As big as this thing is power wise. But anyways, um, until next time, see you later.